up peeps here it is it's the warrior fairy so if you guys want to see how I created this beautiful beautiful warrior fairy right here then go ahead and keep on watching <laughs> and this is me now realizing that I hadn't pressed play <laughs> But basically from right here, um, you're just going to put on your normal foundation and everything. Foundation, concealer, kind of set it with the powder. And then I went in with my Ben Nye paint in Blue Spirit and kind of just took a beauty sponge and dabbed that across, as you see, and kind of made that line that we're going to start to make our mask right here. Then I went into that 35B palette, as you saw, and I took the last shade on the second row, which is that bright blue, and I'm just going to start filling that in from the top down. And we're going to be creating that ombre look here, so I'm just going to be adding a lot more blues and making this even darker and darker here. So now I'm going in with the NYX water palette, and I'm taking that dark blue that you see in the palette there. That's going to be the darkest blue that they have. And then I'm going to just start from the top again and continually layer those blues on, just continually making it darker and darker. Going past my eyebrow at this point, I really want to get these eyebrows covered. So now I am going to be going into the 35B palette again. And I'm going to be going down to the fourth row there on the very last shade. And I'm going to be deepening up that blue again. This is kind of like a dark gray type blue. Now I'm going to be taking my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. And I'm going to be dipping into the color Abyss there. And that is the black in the palette. And I'm just going to be layering this at the very top. And really making sure I go over those eyebrows. Honestly, in hindsight, I would have uh, glued my eyebrows down, covered it over with foundation, and then done my kind of ombre look on top. That way you couldn't see my brows at all because in certain lighting, you can obviously see my brows. So hindsight, I would do that for you guys instead. Then I'm just taking that Ben Nye uh, Blue Spirit paint and I'm just dabbing that on my lips there and then taking that first blue that we went into with the 35b palette keeping that on the inner line right there and then as you see right here with the pencil brush I just dip back into my Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette and use the color abyss to finish up the lips right there now I am just taking the gold leaf that I have previously bought in from Michaels. I'm taking some lash glue and my tweezers and I'm just keeping this gold leaf pretty much on the bottom part of that ombre mask that we created. I really wanted to keep that kind of on the very like end of the mask if you would say that and just kind of place the gold leaf wherever you would like. I'm also placing it down my lips, starting from my cupid's bow, kind of down to my chin, as if it was like a warrior stripe. But instead, we're just doing that with gold leaf. Just place that lash glue wherever you like, and then using the tweezers is really going to help you give that precise application there. Now I'm just going in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer, and we are just bronzing up these cheeks right here and contouring out this nose. And if you guys like, I have a previous video on my, it was like my Golden Elf look, and I actually go into a little bit more depth and detail on the nose here and how I basically get that really pointed tipped of a nose. Now I'm just dipping into my Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder, and I am just kind of cleaning up that contouring line there and now I am taking my Smashbox liner and just lining those water lines then I'm taking my Salon Perfect Gold Glam Lashes and I'm just applying that to my eyeballs now I'll take my little ears here and we are going to be applying that with Ben Nye Spirit Gum here just attach that to your ears hold phone I hear the ice cream truck. Do I go get ice cream like this? <laughs> we decided to be good and to keep on working. So right now I'm just taking my normal foundations shade 
and I'm just kind of painting the bottom of my ears so that this matches a little bit better. I had previously gone in and painted the whole ears with the Ben Nye uh, Blue Spirit and then just kind of realized that I wanted to keep it like the ombre mask there. So basically wherever the blues are starting on that mask, I'm going back in with the colors and just kind of matching my ears up to my mask. Now I'm just placing a necklace as basically like a warrior kind of crown on me. Um, I had gotten this from my grandmother, so honestly any necklace that you guys have will do. But um, just kind of get creative with it and figure out what you have and what will work to your best advantage on creating this look. All right. So just in case I run out of time here with daylight, I'm going to go ahead and call it because this is pretty much all you really need to know on how to create this warrior fairy look. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. Um, I really, really appreciate it. Please, please, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. It would mean the absolute world to me. And thank you guys so much again. I had so much fun creating this look. This was such a blast. Alrighty, I will see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.